What's up everybody? It's Margo and today I am back with another video. Today we are doing the rip it or ship it tag. Uh, side note, I just got back from the dentist this afternoon and I am still very numb on the left side of my face so I will be a little off in terms of my speaking voice. I'm very trying hard to concentrate on speaking with this side because this side is just dead. Right. So I have a total of 30 character names in here and that will equate to a total of 15 ships. I'm going to be judging whether or not a pairing should be ripped or shipped based on the ship name and how well their personalities will work together. That is really hard to say. Let's just get to it. Just want to make sure none of them dropped on the floor because I kind of need all of them. Let's see what our first name is. First up, we have we have Elena Starkov, the Sun Summoner from the Grishaverse, one of my favorite series. Next. I mean, I didn't choose this on purpose, but Mal from the Grishaverse? <laughs> Mal is one of the major love interests of the series already. I guess ship? But Molina. Molina is their ship name, right? I mean, I personally was never a fan of Mal in the third book. I personally think that Nikolai and Alina would have done much better off because I love Nikolai, but then again, no one here hates Nikolai. So hopefully get a different name in here. We have Cress from the Lunar Chronicles. Ooh, I love my little nerdy geek. Okay. Next. Let's shuffle them in our fingers a bit. A long one. We have Kaz. From Six of Crows. Kaz and Cress? Either way, their name is going to be Kaz or Cress. I don't know if I see this working. I mean, Kaz is very cold and unfeeling, and Cress is just a, a little ball of shyness. I, I don't think. I, I don't think Kaz would be able to put up with her. But at the same time, like, I think Cress deserves someone much better than Kaz. Not to say that Kaz isn't a great character, but he doesn't really seem like a match for Cress. Especially because I think Kaz would just end up using Cress's intelligence to his own advantage. I'm not I'm not seeing it. This this is this is ripped. I'm I'm sorry, my babies. I, I Kaz, I really wanted to see you fall for somebody else, but no, not Kaz and Crest will not do. Ship number three. Let's see who we got. Okay. First off, we have Matthias from Six of Crows. I have like the main characters of a lot of series in here, and and okay for ship number three, we have. Matthias from Six of Crows and the Darkling from the Grishaverse. Um, <laughs> uh, considering the ship name, which is, uh, well, Darkling's name is Spoilers. And uh, I think this action uh, shows my feelings about this. For ship number four, we have, oh, I, I drew out two names. Ooh, two different series, finally. We have Jest from Heartless by Marissa Meyer and Maven Caller from Red Queen. Jest and Maven. Oh, um. Ugh, yeah, I don't really, um. I don't like that. I, I don't like that. I like Maven. D don't get me wrong. And I love, love Jest. Love him. But together... 
Jess is very aloof and is very flirty and romantic. Maven is also very flirty and romantic. Hold up a minute. Why do I suddenly like this? <laughs> I, I started out hating this. Why do I suddenly love it? What about their ship name? Um, Jest and Maven. There's Javen, which is kinda, eh, it's alright. And then there's Mest. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Consider this shipped. Now for number five, I will pull out a name. Who are you? Oh, my girl! My girl! My favorite girl! Aww! This is Mira from Snow Like Ashes, which if you don't know, it's my favorite, it's my favorite trilogy of all time. I love it to death. Um, and your partner's gonna be... Katniss! From Hunger Games! Oh! Mira is a bad A from a snow-covered kingdom, and you are a bad A from a coal-covered kingdom. So, well, yours isn't a kingdom, it's a district. But still, like, I like that. They both use long-ranged weapons. Katniss uses a bow and arrow. Mira uses a chakram. Why do I like this? Why can I imagine it so well? <gasps> Mira braids her hair all the time. They could twin! They could twin! They could twin! I love it. I love it. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, I consider this shipped. Now, what about their ship name? Mira and Katniss. Mira and Katniss. So that's either Matniss, which isn't that bad, or Kira. Katniss and Mira, Kira. I like it. I really do like that. This, this is shipped. Katniss and Mira. Make it happen, fanfiction writers. Make it happen. First we have... Kathy from the fifth wave. Cassiopeia is her actual name. And who else do we have? We have Wylan from Six of Crows. <laughs> I don't like this. It doesn't make any sense. You have Kathy who's like tough and rugged and you know like very direct and straight to the point. And then there's Wylan, the cinnamon roll. The, the bean, the boy, the boy that we all love and is our child that we wish to protect. And I feel like Kathy would just end up seeing Wylan as like an equivalent to Sammy. Well, no, not like an equivalent to Sammy, but you know, like, a, like as a younger brother, not like as a, like as a boyfriend, you know? Like, y you know, like, and, and, and let's talk about that ship name, Wylan and Kathy, there's Wathy, which really is, no, but then there's Kylan. Which isn't terrible, but it's still kind of, eh, like, the ship name was great, but I don't like the ship. It's just, it's too, it's, it's too sister and brother-ish. Ripped. On to the next. This is first person. Who are you? Jason from the Lunar Chronicles. All right. Who will you be with? Mayor Barrow. From Red Queen? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's think about this. Winter, uh, Winter is someone that Jason really needs to take care of, and I think that's the type of woman he needs in his life. Someone who needs to be taken care of, and that is definitely not Mare Barrow. If we're talking Mare Barrow from book one, maybe, maybe a tiny bit, just because she was a little, um tripping over herself, but if we're talking Mare by the end of King's Cage, I've yet to read War Storm, don't kill me, <laughs> but if we're talking about the end of King's Cage, now they butt heads all the time, like th this would not work. Mare and Jason, there's Mason, which is like eh, and then there's Jer, which is still eh. I'm not a fan, yeah, you know, uh, ripped. First up, we have Ine Gaffa from Six of Crows. My girl, love you. And then we have Mather. My boy, Mather from Snow Like Ashes. Oh, I don't know. Mather's very noble and like boy next door type guy. And then there's Ine, who, who's complete bad egg straight out of Ketterdam. I mean, they're both warriors in a sense. Um, 
Mather is a warrior for winter, for January. Ine is a spy, so she could maybe spy for winter. I'm not really sure how could they be together. Ine has a lot of secrets. She's very ruthless and very quick to the point. I can't really see them like having sparks fly and stuff like that. I really can't see it. Sorry. I, I know I'm ripping a lot of these, but they don't really work together, you know? So, uh, where'd it go? Next ship, and we're starting to dwindle down the names. We have Cinder from the Lunar Chronicles, and we also have Jasper from from Six of Crows. So we have Jasper who Jasper who's bisexual AF, and Cinder who's like don't trust anybody. So Jasper who's like the jokester. He's I guess he can be similar to Thorn in a lot of ways because of his charm and his flirtatious nature. Cinder, I haven't really seen her to- maybe it's just because I haven't read the series in a while, but I don't remember her really, like, having too much humor. But like, Jesper's like the king of comedy. He needs someone cute and lovable and a sweet small baby bean like Wyland. I love Wesper so much. <laughs> I, I don't want Jesper and Wyland to be with anybody but each other. And, what, and what's with their um, uh, their ship name? Anyway, uh, Kesper? Or Sesper, I guess. Or Jinder. Not a strong ship name. Rip. Sorry. First up, we have... Peter Mellark. From the Hunger Games. I just recently reread the book through the audiobook and randomly selected. I have a second name. This is. Cather from Fangirl. Oh, wait a minute now. Peta and Cather? Peta could use a, a shy little. Oh, I'm imagining like little dates and stuff where he stands up for her and, like, oh, that's cute. And like she can tell him stories and they could read together of oh, the be I I like this ship name. I real I really like not the name, sorry. I like this ship. We have Peta and Cather. That's Kita, which not very strong. And then there's Pather, which I guess kind of works. Either way, these two are shipped. We have Kai from the Lunar Chronicles, who is Cinder's counterpart. And then we have Nina from Six of Crows. I don't think Nina would put up with Kai's constant loyalty and need for responsibility. Well, she can be pretty assertive, but you have to think about it. It's Nina, the in-your-face woman. I think she might scare scare Kai a little bit, so I'm just just gonna rip this. Sorry. Last two ships, I think. First up, we have Aiko from the Lunar Chronicles. Love this girl. Okay. Next we have, and then these are just yeah, there's four left. And then we have Zeev, uh, also known as a uh, wolf from Scarlet in the Lunar Chronicles. Um, I know Aiko had like a bit of a crush on Wolf before being scared of him, so I don't really think so. Wolf needs someone like Scarlet who's like very in your face and assertive and can really hold her own. Aiko's like, she can hold her own, especially when you saw in her graphic novel, but like she just, she seems too girly for him. I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Goodbye. Next ship. Right, we have Catherine from Heartless, the future Queen of Hearts. And then we have um, Thorn from the Lunar Chronicles. Thorn and Jesper are kind of alike. Maybe. They're very flirtatious, they're very romantic. I like that. I can see this kind of working as, as like kind of like a funny relationship. Now let's see about the ship name. Catherine and Thorn. 
First we have corn, which is, or chorn, I guess, no. And then we have Tatherin. Tatherin actually on its own is a nice name. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I, I like it other way, even if the ship name isn't the, isn't the best. So I'm just gonna ship these two. Oh, I'm missing a name somewhere. I'm missing a name. I have a, I have a, I, I have a set of people who I, I, I don't know where the other name went. Um, I'm missing a name and I have three names left. You know what? Just for the sake of diversity, why don't we make this last one a polyamorous relationship? Because I can't think of anything else to do, and I doubt I'm going to find that last name anytime soon. So, let's just pull out these three names and see what they're going to be together. Right. Because I can't think of anything else. Um, we have Citra! from Scythe by Neil Shusterman, which I just recently read, and it's fantastic. I'm currently reading the sequel. I love her. I love it. I love the whole series. It's, it's like a modern Fahrenheit 451 to me. And then we have my girl, my fave, my ride or die, Scarlet Bignat from Lunar Chronicles and her own book, Scarlet. And then lastly, of course, we have Rowan from Scythe as well. So basically, we have a couple and an extra. Now, I think Scarlet and Citra share some characteristics, such as their um, attitude, but I don't really- I think Scarlet's kind of aggressive for these two, especially because, like, I mean, Scarlet's a very compassionate person, and I can see how she has a lot of similarities to Citra, but I feel like Citra and Scarlet would be competing for Rowan's attention a lot, and I honestly think that Rowan be, would keep drifting back to Citra. So, Scarlet, you just, girl, you don't fit here. You're just gonna not have to be here, but I'll keep you. It's fine. And then of course we have Citra and Rowan, which is either uh, Cohen or Ritra, which I like Ritra, so these are shipped. As for Scarlet, because she's my fave, I'm just gonna ship her with me, because I love her. She and I are shipped now. Hands off. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, make sure you leave a like on this video and comment down below if you have any thoughts to add. Without further ado, let us turn the page on this video and I will see you all in the next chapter. Ciao!